So here we go. It is the final of the 2023 Jed Sevens. It will be contested between the home team Jed Forest and the new Kings of the Sevens champions Melrose as Stu and Hutchison gets the high hanger into the sky to get proceedings underway. Hamish Weir got his mitts to that one, but it was knocked forward in the act of trying to pick it up by Roly Brett who's otherwise been very impressive here this afternoon as he has been since he returned into Melrose cover, colours after a very long injury absence so first scrum of the final to Jed it's been hooked back there to Lewis Walker and he goes back to Rory Marshall Rory Marshall first touch the ball in the final for Lewis Young and Lewis Young steps inside and goes and he bumps off a man bumps off another man and Nagel's in over that but Jed come up with possession Monroe to Gregor Young Gregor Young has got Hayes Hayes tries to size up the oppos opposition good tackle in there by Roly Brett Monroe to Callum Young to Rory Marshall he looks for space up the middle and finds a wee bit of space Marshall and he's off he's got Struan Hutchison to beat he's got Callum Young inside now Callum Young's off and running here and Callum Young evades Hutchison and Callum Young the crowd will tell you is in for the first try of the final first blood to Jed Neil Hinnigan yeah it was almost old old Jed there from you know uh, pre-Covid and last year where the, the lines are running are coming at you that fast and you know Melrose have defended well afternoon but there, there wasn't a lot they could do about that but the sport play was, was really good Rory Marshall to the fore noticed him and Lewis Young are looking to put the burners on a bit more in this one so far they've really taken it to Melrose and deserved the first score yeah it's a start to expect from Jed you know it's yeah. a start to expect it their home final and as you say the intent there you could see as soon as uh, Lewis Young got that ball off the first phase of that scum he knew his intent he was going to have a go and he's he, you know he's a big rangy runner he's done it for 10 11 years now and it's very difficult to stop and if he gets on these shoulders and he has his support runners outside him it's very difficult to stop intent definitely the word there and we've spoken so often this afternoon about Rory Marshall Jed kicking off attacking the the town end here at Riverside Melrose a attacking towards the hospitality tent which is emptied now all 600 of them out looking on and Jed have come up with possession and Lewis Walker seen that there's no sweeper but he went for the chip kick Hutchison takes it in but taken without the ball, Struan Hutchison by Lewis Walker, not sure the chip ahead was actually the right option by Walker so it's a penalty to Melrose looking to exit their 22, Bruce Colvin to Nagel Nagel goes route one, uses his bulk, but he's hit hard. Maintains possession, however. Out to Roly Brett. Don Crawford, the dangerous Don Crawford. Looks to size up Gregor Young and go on the outside. Kieran Hayes, good chop tackle by Kieran Hayes. And Gregor Young's up in there as well. Didn't go forward. Some on the in the Jed bench thought it may have but he gathered it at the second bite so here come Melrose Makowski this time Makowski looks to go inside to Struan Hutchison Struan Hutchison goes to Nagel Nagel's wrapped up by Young Makowski again goes over the head of Colvin to Roly Brett Roly Brett's off and running here uses Crawford as a decoy Hamish Weir loiters with intent but Jed are in over that and Jed win the penalty and they're off and running quickly through Gregor Young Gregor Young to his brother Callum scorer of that first try for Jed Jed 5-0 to the good of course it's been thrown back though and well won or well harried at least by Bruce Colvin and it's been knocked forward by a Jed player so good hustle Graham yeah good hustle there quite impressed with the defence from Melrose actually because you know, Jed when they get the ball they do look really dangerous and you know they're just uh, Andrew Nagel to the fore in the, in the attack as well but I'd like to see Melrose play away for contact a little bit more you know, could Roly Brett got it through the hands here at Donald Crawford and Mikowski outside him. Let's play away from their strengths. So centre centre field scrum for Melrose and it's hooked back. Bruce Colvin to Struan Hutchison. Good attacking platform from which Melrose can work here. Don Crawford is well tackled. Comes back to Weir. Weir straightens and goes. And again, Jed, Jed player in over that like a limpet. And they're off and running again. Jed, and it comes to Gregor Young to Monroe to Lewis Young and he comes inside again Lewis Young looks for Monroe Monroe's slightly overrun and has been knocked on there by Young yep. Kieran Hayes filling in at hooker for Jed today the pace man in the ranks Melrose scrum hooked back Bruce Colvin palms it back one handed to Hutchison he goes to centre Don Crawford and Don Crawford comes inside and sees a bit of space and he's off and running now and he's got a man on the outside and that man is Hutchison and Hutchison's going to be in here so all of a sudden Melrose 
back at parity, five points apiece, but importantly, the kick is to come, and Melrose have got quality in the ranks. Well, that's what Donald Crawford's done the whole circuit. You know, he steps off that right foot, and he's got that little bit of acceleration that gets him past that evading defender, and, you know, it's... Uh, and, and, and Stuart Hutchinson's been where he has been the whole time. He's, off, he's always in that kind of there to take that last pass with the sweeper, and Donald Crawford timed, the, the, timed that pass from the sweeper at the, at the correct time. And that's his fifth try the afternoon. Struan Hutchison takes him out to joint or leading joint scorer with Welsh of Ann Brackies and he makes no mistake with a conversion so Melrose going to the lead is Jed 5 Melrose 7 as Hutchison gets it back underway and gives his forwards again the chance to get his palm back though by Callum Young good pass by Monroe out to Lewis Walker and Lewis York Walker sees a bit of open prairie in front of him and he tries to employ those dancing feet of, feet of his Comes back in the hands of a Jed player. So Jed looking to establish an advantage again as the clock ticks towards half time. Callum Young, Rory Marshall. Rory Marshall, as he's done so often over the years, comes back in off that right foot. Still going, Rory Marshall, showing his power. Melrose in over that though, and Marshall's held on to a fraction too long. So good defence again by Melrose. And it's been taken quickly. Hutchison now. Hutchison's got Brett. Brett looking to go on the outside of Lewis Young. Still going, Brett. Got another player and signal to put the kick in and it's been hacked forward and Hutchison's on it. Hutchison's play Hutchison plays football with it. Goes down on it, Hutchison and scores. So two tries in quick succession for Strew and Hutchison. His six of the afternoon and this tie's been turned on its head. Yeah, Jed, you know, uh, Melrose defence to the fore for me, they just Jed are throwing all at them in attack and they're not been quite able to finish off moves and Melrose are scrambling back well and the turnovers there and then They've, they've just got all the confidence in the world at the moment to go coast to coast and they've, they've done it twice now and yeah they look, they look sharp it's going to be Hutchison to attempt this conversion of his own try and five becomes seven so wee bit of daylight in favour of Melrose as the half time whistle goes it's Jed five Melrose 14 and we talk about you know big, spoke at the cup final last weekend big players in big moments and Struan Hutchison he is the man of the moment you know, Jed from you know, Goody's having a, a, a real go at them just now. You know, it, it'll be drumming it into them. They need to score first after half time. I mean, there's a lot. It's a wee bit different when it used to be the ten minute half. You had, yeah. you had a bit of time to play. You could still, you know, if you lost a couple early tries in the second half, you had time. You don't have time now. So I think if Melrose score next, it'll be a long way back for Jed, and that's what you know, that's what Goody will be saying. Clear daylight between the two sides, and it'll be Gary Monroe to look for one of his high hangers to get us back underway this second half Jed now attacking the hospitality end and has that gone 10 it drops right on the tent Bats came back on the Melrose side through Colvin Colvin flings it back to that man Rory, Rory Brett so impressive in the first half and here he goes again Brett takes a couple of Jed defenders Jed player in over that's well won by Callum Young so Jed win possession back and it comes to Walker Walker goes out the back door to Monroe. Monroe tries to go route one and take a couple of Melrose players out the equation. Goes to Young. Back into Callum Young. Nothing rushed. Taking his time. Now Callum Young. He's been harried on, but he's seen a bit of space and now there's going to be a foot race. Mikowski's after Callum Young and Mikowski's done really well to get back to him. Now will he find his brother Gregor? And there comes another on rushing Jed player. This time it's Lewis Walker. Lewis Walker's under the sticks, and that's let up the crowd. Fantastic uh, support there from the Jed players. You know, Callum Young made the initial break, and all credit to Harry Mikowski, he got back. And then uh, Gregor Young was there, and then fed Lewis Walker. So superb, uh, superb you know, support play from the Jed boys. And we've spoke about it this afternoon that, that the top teams have the best support play. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, you've seen it here for. Uh, the, the, two, the, two, the two latest tries, one for Jed, one from uh, from Melrose, have been exactly that. It's been all about the support. It has indeed. So, Jed 12, Melrose 14, final of the Jed 7s. Gary Monroe to get it back underway, and it's another high hanger. And this time it's not gone 10, so cheap possession given away, you could say. We're going to go back to the middle of the park where Melrose will have a a tap and go Bruce Colvin the little general in the Melrose ranks he takes it goes to Hutchison another of the fine playmakers Don Crawford a bit of pace and power and Hutchison sees half a gap and he comes back to Colvin 
Colvin's hit hard, a couple of Jed defenders in there and they've held him up now. It's gone to ground, however. And yeah, the scrum's coming to Jed. Good defence, Neil. Yeah, really good defence. He seized the moment there and they got him up in the air. And unfortunately for Melrose, the ruck had been formed, uh, sort of them all had been formed because there was more than uh, two players on each side. So Jed knew they could just hold on to it there and they went to deck and the ball wasn't coming back. And scrum to Jed and gives him an opportunity to try and, to try and get the lead again in this game. Two and a half minutes gone in the second half of the final. Jed, scrum feeding their own 22. Lewis Walker comes in and plays it. Goes to Young. Lewis Young. Harried and hassled by Colvin. But the penalty's been conceded by Melrose. Connor Spence in there. And Young takes it quickly. Weighs up the situation. Sees there's no sweeper at home. Now Lewis Young's after it. Is it going to come back? He's been, it's been palmed back there by Bruce Colvin. Great defence by the experienced campaigner Connor. Spence takes it in now and he's been held up this time but it's came back on the Melrose side and it's Nagel, Nagel pins the ears back and goes, Come, finds Crawford on the cut and Crawford hits the afterburners back to Nagel, Nagel with a man to beat, Jed defence get over and take him down, he's going to have to play it back Nagel it does exactly that, so back with Brett to Crawford Crawford's got Spence coming through Spence is under the sticks and Connor Spence has scored for Melrose and Melrose back in command of this tie yeah, and that'll take them, they'll put the conversion over, and that takes them to a nine point lead, which is that's really important. You know, it takes them out, away from that magic one try. And, you know, it's a, a bit, like Neil said earlier on, Jed having to work so hard for their try. Merrill's had to work so hard to get in there yeah. for the try, which is testament to both sides' defences. It is indeed. And Struan Hutchison with a kick to come. It's currently Jed 12. Merrill's. 19 and it remains Jed 12, Melrose 19 because Struan Hutchison unbelievably and inexplicably has missed the kick from in front of the post so could that be a turning point if ever something was going to get the tails up of a team that's slightly behind it's not going two scores behind and just how important could that be so Hutchison comes back to take the kick off goes a bit deeper makes no mistake with that one into the, into the bread basket of Kieran Hayes. He's in a quiet final so far. Now it's Marshall. Marshall comes back on the inside. Now Munro. Munro's got Lewis Young. Lewis Young comes on the outside, but he's pleased by Crawford. Roly Brett's in there as well. Munro. Now it's out to Walker. To Hayes. Hayes is quick. Hayes is going to go on the outside, and he's on the outside to climb. Hayes down the, the, the main stand side, floats the pass inside to an on-rushing Jed player, and that on-rushing Jed player is Gregor Young, and Gregor Young's gone under the, six and in, the sticks, and in the blink of an eye, it looks like we're going to be back at Parity Grill. Yeah, Hayes showed some great speed up that, up, up that stand side, because uh, Matty Klein is no slouch at all, and he went round him like he wasn't there, and he had the, he had the sense and the and the rugby skill set to, to feed uh, Gregor Young inside, who we all know he's done, he's done that forever, and <laughs> on the end of those passes and scored under the post and Gary Munro will make no mistake in front of the post I'm sure Gary Munro indeed makes no mistake so with little more than a minute on the clock according to my watch it's 19 points all and it is all to play for we said before the game Neil it was going to be a humdinger yeah. it's proven to be correct yeah great play by Kieran Hayes you know he makes the break but he keeps the composure to get the pass on the inside and to make sure they can get the two the extra two points to take this to, to a 19 all draw but yeah it's anyone's game now of course from you know, we'll soon rue that mess, we'll wait and see, but... He's gone off Kieran Hayes and Callum Young's come back on and Callum Young's under this and it's going to come... It's going to come up. The ball, Callum Young's going to come up with the ball. No, it's back on the Melrose side. So, here come Melrose with about 30 seconds on the clock. Brett. Brett's got Don Crawford and Don Crawford's off and running up the far side from our vantage point and it's a few race now between him and Young. He's over, Don Crawford. He's scored... The master of the kick through, Don Crawford. Big players, big moments, and my word, Neil, what an outcome. Yeah, I mean, he showed a great pair of, clean pair of heels there. I mean, against Lewis Young, who's maybe not as quick as he once was, but just the determination there by Donald Crawford, you know, it showed him how much he wide it, and he, you know, the bounce of the ball goes the right way for him, and he gets a try, and that probably seals the final, I think. Yeah, but, looks certainly according to my watch, that is that. And judging by the, the body language of the Jed players, I think they know the, 
the race is running, the game is up as the conversion is taken. It drops over for good measure and the referee brings the final to a close and this season's Kings of the Sevens are also the Jed Sevens champions 2023 and Graham on the balance of play, the balance of possession, etc. It's a nip and tuck final but Melrose just about deserved winners. Yeah, just about. I think they, they, they just about did enough and, and a fit and try to win the, to win the tournament. You know, it was twice they had to go round uh, Lewis Young there. He, he made the initial kick and then got past him and then did a little hack through and got past him again. And as Neil says, great determination to get over the line and touch it down. And you know, I'm uh, I'm really pleased for Donald because he's uh, he deserves that one over the course of the season. So there you have it. Melrose are this season's kings of the sevens, and for good measure. They have beat the host team in the final of Jed Sevens to boot. Stu, congratulations, Jed Sevens winners and Kings of the Sevens winners. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, obviously, everyone's absolutely delighted uh, with, with that result. Uh, we knew we were eight points in, ahead of Gallo going into this tournament, but as I said earlier, we just took it one game at a time, um, and, and thankfully we managed to come away with the ten points, which just secures that Kings of the Sevens, as you said. But uh, it's a ten-man squad here today, but I think we've probably used over 15 players throughout the whole series. Uh, the management, physio, injured players running water down for warm-ups, things like that. Everyone's really bought into it, so it is honestly a, a probably like a 20, 22-person effort to, to get that result so uh, I guess we're the lucky 10 that got to play today but that's for a lot of people at, at the club getting that first Kings of the Sevens since 2014. How much does it mean to the club to win the Kings of the Sevens? Massive. I think Melrose have always taken the Sevens obviously very seriously um, in seasons gone by. Uh, Pre-Super 6, obviously Melrose have, have, have had uh, a bit of success in terms of uh, leagues and cups, so we maybe couldn't have put in as, as strong uh, sides out at the start of the competition. But uh, look, yeah, even, even after COVID, like we, we've always taken Kings of the Sevens seriously. So to get that 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 first win, and, and it's a lot of uh, people's first Kings of the Sevens. Uh, obviously, you've got people experienced in there. Bruce, Bruce Colvin, Andrew Nagel, they've won a few. But I mean, like for myself, and, and, and I think a lot of the squad, it is our first one. So we're so happy uh, to, to have got it uh, wrapped up here, and, and we'll go to South again next week and, and see if we can uh, how, how we get on yeah it was a tough one there we took, took the lead obviously in the, in the first half and maybe kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit there let them back into the game and then chased it back to 19 all but disappointing way to finish that for us how did you feel when you got back to 19 all with just a couple of minutes left you must have thought we can still win this yeah I felt um I thought we, you know, we had the upper hand at that point. Uh, we took a good, well, what, what looked like a decent kick off, and then just a bit of fumble of the ball. They got the, they got the bounce of it, and that was it. Up the top, the touchline, which is difficult to take, you know, because uh, we've been here before and we've had to grind it, grind a win out, and we thought we were just going to do that there, but disappointing. Jed are, are always there or thereabouts with the sevens. They take it seriously as well, and and we've had some great kind of battles against Jed in, in, in the last few few years and, and even a couple good games uh, this this circuit um, but yeah to, to play Jed at their own sevens in the final the place was was so busy uh, obviously some some great weather it, it went right down to the very last play of the game Donald with a, with a chip and chase and, and managing to get on the the right side of the ball to touch it down uh, it was just such a, a kind of special 14 minutes to, to, to as you say beat, beat the host at their tournament so uh, it's funny you kind of do live off a bit of that energy that that, 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 that you get and, and yeah we uh, we 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 enjoyed the, the challenge they gave us. We, we, we had a tough season at the 15s this year. When you get an event like this with the sun shining, uh, the crowds are here and it, it just kind of changes the whole aspect of the season for, for the boys and really lifts their spirits. Not just the guys that are on the field, but the guys off it as well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a huge event and something we want to keep going and, and uh, re really proud of the Jed Sevens. Did I mention that conversion that you missed right in front of the sticks? Yeah, no, I'd say it was a it was a bad one. Uh, I thought it kicked fairly well all, all day, but then obviously when it matters, right at, right at the end in the final, I needed to, to make that to put us two points ahead. Um, obviously missed it right in front of the post, um, and then they went under the post and, and Gary Monroe converted theirs for 19 all. So I was honestly stood under my post thinking this could come back to haunt us. What have I done? But I'm just absolutely thrilled, absolutely delighted that we managed to to get there in the end. So uh, yeah, probably old Donald. Uh, and all the, the nine boys, uh, some drinks tonight, I'm sure. Well, congratulations once again. You've got next Saturday at Selkirk. You can ease off a bit, relax, because you are Kings of the Sevens champions. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I mean, just on that point, I think we'll, we'll, we'll obviously, we'll be looking to win that tournament as well, and we'll, we'll, we'll go hard at that. Um, so, yeah, look, as you say, we can we can maybe relax a little bit that we've got Kings of the Sevens, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be going hard at, at Selkirk, and we'll see where we get to. Enjoy tonight. Thank you very much. Cheers.